big part of what we do. In fact, one in three matches that Emberman Angels makes is a caregiver. So two in three are, on average, are people going through the cancer. So one in three is a lot. When you're matching thousands of people a year, you know, this is thousands of people that are family members. So for example, if um, a woman named Sally is diagnosed with cervical cancer and her spouse now is really struggling, we can hook up Sally with another woman, but spouse to spouse is a really powerful match. And sometimes you can get the same couple with the same couple, and that's the best. When they all are into it and they're all open because Sally can be talking to the other woman who's gone through cervical cancer, but then the two spouses talk. And then it's like a double match on one, two families, but like one link, which is great. And sometimes, you know, it's, it's matching a parent that has a child that's four and going through a neuroblastoma with the other parents that say, our kid's 14, but when she was four, she had the same neuroblastoma. We've done this before, you know, we understand. We've asked all these questions to the doctors. We've learned, we know about the side effects. You know, we'll help you as parents because we get what it's like to have that feeling of you're the only parent with a child with cancer at school. Like, that's tough. Um, but I think the thing is it happens so quickly and so fast and you have to get your arms around, wait, am I gonna make it? If I do make it, will I be able to have kids? What's my quality of life gonna be like when this is over? Um, who's gonna date me? Um, am I, can I hold a job? Am I gonna have energy again? I forget what that's like. There's so many questions that we don't know. And that was, um, that isolation and not knowing answers was really um, why a group of young survivors and I sort of got together and said, listen, we should, now that we're done, we should be coming back to help those guys that are deer in headlights, first mile of the marathon. They have no idea where we're going. And we do, because we're at the mile 26.2. We cross that finish line. We know the course, we know the terrain, we know the bumps, we know the hills. Like we can come back to mile one and help the people who are just starting that fight.